Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to use a 3D scanning app to scan your car and create custom parts for it. If you're new here, I specialize in DIY videos guiding you through the process of creating custom car parts, covering car shows, and sharing various gear related DIY projects. To get started, download the 3D scanning app. Having tested several 3D scanning apps, I found this one to be the most efficient and straightforward. Before scanning, we'll need to prep the surface to achieve the best results. I like to cut several pieces of 1 inch wide tape and apply them to the surface, serving as a reference for dimension and alignment later. Next, use the spray to eliminate the gloss on the surface since scanners cannot capture shiny surfaces effectively. I chose to go with an affordable alternative like the Gold Bond body spray that can be found at any convenience store. Now, let's dive into the 3D scanning process. Open up the app, select LiDAR Advanced, and adjust the resolution at the bottom to 5mm for optimal results. Tap the red circle to initiate the scanning, then carefully move the device around until it captures all the desired details. Tap the red button again to stop the scanning process. Then click on the green start button to process the 3D scan. Once that's done, you can view the finished product. Select share and export it as an OBJ file type to import it into a 3D modeling software. Now that you have the 3D data, you can utilize a free modeling software such as Blender to design the desired parts. I will be making a separate video going through the process of how you can use Blender to create parts from the 3D scan data. Once you have the model, you can proceed to 3D print it as a custom part or employ the 3D print to create a mold for producing multiple parts. I have a video on how to create a mold from a 3D printed part, I'll put the link down below. Next, I'll export the model from Blender as an STL file and then import it into a slicing software like Ultimate Kira to prepare it for 3D printing. I stuck it on temporary with tape to see how it looks. I haven't decided if I want to keep it this way or paint it gloss black. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's it for the video. If you found it useful, please consider liking and subscribing for more videos like this.